What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm gonna to give you guys a list of five modifications that I think are perfect for beginners when they first get their BMW F30. So the way that I put together this list of the five beginner mods is based on what I think you guys could put into your car if you're a beginner and you just bought your BMW F30, maybe you're not that comfortable working on it. These are perfect modifications for you to kind of get your feet wet into modifying your car. In addition to expertise level for install, I also think that these are easier, cheaper mods. They're not super expensive. We all know when you get into a BMW and you start modifying it, it can get really pricey really fast. So these modifications are affordable to everybody. Buddy. and like I said they're a little bit easier to install so I base these modifications off of affordability and difficulty when it comes to installation and actually modifying the car I also recognize that I have a pretty wide variety of subscribers on this channel so I wanted to make the list accessible for people who have the M Sport kit and people who do not have the M Sport kit so anyone all of you can use these modifications on your car they're all relatively affordable you can apply them to any of the F30 BMWs and they're also rather easy to install on your car so so the first modification that I'm gonna throw at you guys is the red start stop button. Now it doesn't have to be red, they have a bunch of different colors, yellow, blue, black, whatever, white, whatever you wanna do. I picked red for my car, this is the sport line, so the interior of the car has like red stitching all over it. I just felt like red was a great offset color to kind of put in there. And it's also something that you see every single day. So you're always touching that start stop button. This is something that greatly enhances the interior of your car. And just like the experience of driving the BMW, every time you start it, it's super duper easy to install, it's affordable, and you can put it on any F30 BMW. So the second modification that I'm gonna throw at you guys is the rear carbon fiber spoiler. I absolutely love the one that I have on my car. It was kind of hard to find, but I did track it down. It's a great starter modification because it kind of introduces you into the world of 3M adhesive tape. And if you've ever worked on a BMW, or really any car for that matter, anytime you're using styling products, especially carbon fiber on the exterior, a lot of times the way that those are held to the car is adhesive. We also use sometimes some self-tapping screws, but for just the rear lip spoiler, it's strictly 3M adhesive. So it kind of like introduces you to that world with using 3M adhesive, gets you comfortable comfortable to doing those kind of modifications. So you're prepped for down the line when you start doing further installs like carbon fiber front lips or side skirt extensions, things like that. The other cool thing is this rear carbon fiber spoiler, you can put it on any of the F30 BMWs, whether you have the M Sport package or not, it doesn't change the trunk, unless of course you've gone to like the CSL trunk or something entirely different. But for the most part, you can put it on any F30 BMW and it greatly enhances the rear end. The next modification that I absolutely love is the carbon fiber kidney grills that I have on this car. So the carbon fiber actually just goes around the circumference of the kidney grills. The kidney grills on this are black and I have the M style so it's double slatted which I just think looks a lot cooler than like the stock version. And you can get either all gloss black or you can do the carbon fiber. I opted for carbon fiber because who doesn't love a little bit of carbon fiber on their F30 BMW. I think they look so dope on the front especially with all of the other carbon fiber modifications I've done. The front lip, the mirrors, the extensions, the rear diffuser the rear lip spoiler, everything, that kidney grill just ties everything in together. So in addition to it looking really, really dope, it's also super easy to install. You don't need to pull off your bumper. A lot of people say that you do, you don't have to. For the amount of work that it takes to put them on, it greatly enhances the front end. Some of the cars, if you don't have a sport line, comes with like a chrome grill and it just looks super nasty. This way, the car looks much more sporty and sleek. The next modification that I absolutely love is the MST cold air intake that I put on this car. Also on like a difficulty level, it's probably around like a four or five. It's relatively easy to put on and it's like a great starter mod for anyone who wants to get into the engine. Start working on the engine. This is like the first thing that everyone does. Start with the intake. The car will breathe better. It sounds way cooler. <laughs> and it looks really good in the engine bay. And then the fifth modification that I suggest everybody at least consider 
are the carbon fiber mirror caps. So we have a lot of options when it comes to carbon fiber mirror caps. We have the M style, which is what I have. You have the OEM style, and then you can do like the standard carbon fiber weave, which is what I did have, and you can do the forged carbon fiber weave, which is what I went to. I absolutely love the new forged carbon fiber mirror caps. I think, in my opinion, that is where everything is going. Everybody's gonna start doing forged carbon all over these cars. And in addition to it looking really good, it's a fairly simple install. It's probably like a three out of 10 on the difficulty scale. Maybe not even that, probably like a two. You just have to be really careful when you're bending out the glass so you don't break it. But it is a super easy install to do. Probably takes you like five minutes and it deems awesome results. So this is a video that I wanted to make for you guys because I had a lot of people asking questions. That's right, anytime you guys ask questions in the comments, I usually make videos based on it. Everyone was like, dude, where do I start? Like, what are the first modifications that I do? And I think that that kind of question falls into a few different categories. A, like what can you afford and how comfortable are you working on your car? Me, for example, I am super comfortable working on this car and I have no problem ripping anything out or putting anything in. But at the same time, I know some people aren't and they're new to the car world when they have their F30 BMW. They don't wanna start with like putting in intercoolers or turbo inlet pipes or charge pipes. Like those are a little bit more difficult than doing just like a simple intake or like aesthetics on the outside. So I figured this would be like a good list for people who are just starting out, who just got their BMW and they want to get comfortable working on their car. If you guys agree with me on this list, please do comment down below. If you don't agree with me, comment down below anyways. I want to hear what your list is. What do you think is like a good starter point for people who just got this car and they want to make it look better without spending too much money or like ripping anything out of the car that's really, really hard. In my opinion, these modifications are a great way to get your feet wet if you just got your F30 BMW and you're looking to do more modifications. This kind of gets you comfortable with modifying the car taking certain pieces off, using 3M. And then down the line, you'll have a little more confidence when it goes into like doing your inlet piping or your charge pipe or your exhaust or anything in the suspension. Like that takes a little bit more work. So it's really all about like gaining confidence when working on your car and just learning about the car and how it works when you're removing parts and putting things on. And if you guys are looking for any of the products that I've listed in this video, I will put direct links to each and every one down below in the description. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Make sure you comment down below. I wanna hear your opinion your thoughts do you agree with me do you hate my list do you love it what do you think what's your opinion comment down below make sure you guys also smash that like button hit that like button so it goes up in the YouTube algorithm I'm trying to get everybody to see this and the only way that we do that is if we keep smashing that like button get as many people to hit that and last but not least you guys make sure you tap that bell notification because you will not know every time that I upload unless you hit it and even if you are subscribed you're not really subscribed unless you hit the bell hit the bell thank you guys so much for watching the video and we will see you in the next one peace